Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Benjamin and you are watching Sartorial Styles. Today I will review my accessories by Pochetka, a Polish menswear store. They started with pocket squares, but they also have ties, gloves, scarves and a lot more in their portfolio. In this video I will focus on their accessories. In the future I might do a second part of this review covering their clothing. But now, without further ado, let's go. I personally own pocket squares, ties, gloves, a scarf and some small accessories from Pochetka. I already ordered from them four times and paid for everything on my own. Talking about shopping and paying, they only offer ready-to-wear items through their online shop. If you visit one of their stores in Poland, you can have garments and accessories custom made for you. They ship worldwide, shipping to Germany is 11 euros. They use DPD for delivery. I don't know what courier they use for overseas shipments and how the shipping costs are though. Let's jump right into the first topic, neckties. At the moment I own 8 pochetka ties. All of them were between 50 and 60 euros. They also have a small selection of more expensive ties with a 7-fold construction. My ties all come with a 3-fold construction but with different fabrics and linings. This wool tie, for example, is completely unlined, but still drapes nicely because of the heavier fabric. Same goes for my solid brown and my brown striped grenadine ties. All of the fabrics have a very smooth and luxury feel to them and all the ties are 8 cm wide. For me personally, 9 cm would be fine as well, but 8 cm are a classic and look good with both narrower and wider lapels. Moving on to my printed silk ties. This is the newest addition to my tie collection, a yellow silk tie with a greenish lining. I absolutely love this piece and it works well with brown, blue and green tones. Finishing this up, I bought two polka dot ties a couple of months ago and I love to wear them as well. You can see me combining all of these items on my Instagram, it's sartorialstyles.com. It's already in their name. Pochetka is the Polish word for pocket square. I own round about as many pocket squares as I own ties from them. Most of them are around 30 euros with some huge ones with incredible drawings printed on them that are more expensive. Some of them are cheaper as well. This plain white linen pocket square was about 20 euros for example. It's one of my favorite pieces and if you order it you can choose the thread color for the edge stitching. I went for white because I needed a plain pocket square like this, but I will absolutely get some more of this kind with green, yellow and maybe pink stitching. As I already mentioned, many of their pocket squares have printed paintings on them. One of my all-time favorites is this Berlin pocket square that I wear for many occasions. I do have some more classical pieces in my collection as well. For example, these patterned pocket squares in red and blue. All in all, for this price tag you do nothing wrong with ordering pocket squares from Pochetka. Same goes for their ties by the way, in case I didn't mention it earlier. When I am recording this, it's the first full week of January. I got these awesome Harris tweed and leather gloves gifted for Christmas and guess what, they are from Pochetka as well. I am not really into the topic of gloves and this is actually my only pair, but from my subjective point of view, the fabric is nice, they are comfortable to wear, yet very warm. They come in three different sizes and the smallest one fits my hands perfectly. Moving on to scarves. I ordered this beige woolen scarf in December 2019 and I've been wearing it quite a lot over the autumn months. For the really cold winter days it's too thin of a fabric, but for the transitional season it's perfect and that's what this scarf was meant for. They also have wool and cashmere blends that are heavier and more suitable for the winter. This scarf is 185 cm long, which means that there is enough fabric to experiment with some different knots. The width of 35 cm is perfect as well. I am not a frequent wearer of scarves in general, even though it is a very classical and stylish accessory. But if I ever want to purchase one or two more, I will definitely take a look at what Pochetka has to offer first. My fedoras are from a brand called Polkup. The good thing is, Pochetka also has a couple of their hats in stock. For the price of around 60 euros, you probably won't find a fur felt fedora anywhere else. Sadly, they are out of stock on most of the styles, but if they are not, they are worth a try, especially if you are not into headwear yet. 
This is my pochette gut bag. I use it for grocery shopping and it fits this purpose very well, even though it could be a bit larger. And this is my Pochetka Espresso set. Very nice. I also had a Pochetka pen once, but I sadly destroyed it and lost it over the time. It was a good pen though. And that's it again, my in-depth review about accessories by Pochetka. As you might have realized, I really love this brand because nearly all of their garments and accessories fit my personal style very well and they offer incredible value for the money. Some of the OGs will remember my Pochetka Safari jacket. This one will be part of another review dedicated to their clothing line. Stay tuned for this one and if you don't want to miss it, subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon. Up there I show you 5 ways to style brown turtleneck sweaters featuring my safari jacket from Pochetka. And up there I link a video about picking the perfect pocket square for your outfit. Have a nice time and see you next week!